can make me tell you about the things them way at once. Uh. Back in the days when the dancer used to warm, sir. Uh. When Clint and Lindsay used to bust, them make them once. Uh. Holy for artists, Clint and bring them up America. Some never know, say Clint and Lindsay a promoter. Bring up the biggest set the artists from Jamaica. Like Super Cat and Mr. Early be the doctor. Holy for artists, love for them, he can't remember. Who can remember when them used to keep Jamaica? The kind of show that used to give out of our water. To reggae artists around the world and from Jamaica. New York City, where him used to do the radio. Oh, hi, welcome. Welcome back to Reflections with Clinton Lindsay. And uh, of course, every time we do Reflections, we try to get the best guests in the house. And uh, today's guest, second time, but the first time was on Zoom. And now I have him live in the studio uh, for this segment of Reflections. Before we get to today's guest, let's take a quick break. And when we come back, we go straight to our special guest today. This is Nigel Blair from BMG Tax and Accounting Services. Whether you're a small business owner, a manager at a medium-sized corporation, or a self-employed freelancer, the team at BMG Tax and Accounting Services is here for you. We offer comprehensive bookkeeping and tax services designed to keep your finances in check. Keeping track of your finances takes a fair amount of time, energy, and patience. And you probably have a lot of other things on your plate. So don't struggle to keep up with all that number crunching and paperwork. Our bookkeeping services are designed to make your life easier so you can focus on what you do best. At BMG, we're dedicated to client satisfaction and we're prepared to go the extra miles to earn your business and trust. We pride ourselves on attention to detail in all that we do and we're ready to put our skills and knowledge to work for you. For more information about our services or to schedule a consultation. Come make me tell you about the things them way at once. Uh. Back in the days when the dancer used to warm, sir. Uh. When Clint and Lindsay used to bust them, make them warm, sir. Uh. All right. Um, as promised, we have a, have a very special guest today. And my guest today is none other than the man. He's like, he's on fire right now, to put, put it calmly. Uh, he's on fire. I want to welcome to Reflections for the second time. Mr. Richie Stevens. Richie. Well, go on, my bread out, my bread in, my friend. Yeah, you are on fire. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you, you are burning. How are you doing, yeah. bread? I'm, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing great, a matter of fact. You know, blessed by the Almighty and just keep on doing what I love. Yeah. And um, everything is going well. So I'm in high spirits. Yeah. Um, for the past year or so, you've been like leading mm -hmm. the industry from singles i know you have your brand new album mm -hmm. um i remember last year you when you discover rediscover um ivan sterling mm -hmm. and then you produce an album of your mom yes and now you you are here now with uh, with a new album and mm -hmm. singles what what does it take yeah you've been in the business for many years mm -hmm. What does it take to maintain such a profile? <laughs> so, you know, with the, with the Ivan Sterling thing, yeah, yeah. your mom album, mm -hmm. and it's just constant. What does it take? The love of music. Mm -hmm. That is the first thing I would say. Mm -hmm. um, as I was explaining to Nigel earlier, mm -hmm. that music is my forensic. Because when I was a child, mm -hmm. and my grandparents need any relief, from illness, them send me to buy fancy. So music yeah. is my fancy. Yeah, yeah. I love music so much that I'm addicted to it. I want to write, produce, or sing, or perform every day. Right. You know, I have to find something to do musically. Yeah. And one of my wish was to have my studio in my backyard where I can just leave from the house and go to the studio. Right. And I managed to accomplish that. So great, great. I work on music every day. I have ton loads of songs. Mm. Every time you hear me with a new tune, I have a thousand more. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So, I, I'm a workaholic too. Yeah, you're a workaholic. I'm a workaholic, yes. And what, one of the things I like with you, you are not selfish in your talent. Mm -hmm. You share it. Yes, sir. And the case in point is um, Ivan Sterling. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people gave you a lot of kudos for that. Mm -hmm. How, why did you get involved? For those who might not be familiar. Mm -hmm. All right, so, a, minute or two to so a few years ago, I went to Brazil. Mm -hmm. 
um, had a number one song down there at the time, and there was a nice tour that mm -hmm. set up for me. I went there, and the tour was going well, and everything. The people came out when I went on the beach in, um, I don't remember the city, I think Sao mm -hmm. Paulo. There was like 7,000 people come out, and mm -hmm. it was me alone on the show. Mm -hmm. They uh, made some giant size poster, I've never seen them so big before, like from the ceiling to... A few. You know, yes. Nice. You know, so it was just very impressive, and I yeah. felt good, but the promoter was telling me about Ivan Sterling. Mm -hmm. There's a Jamaican female singer. She's very popular down here. Never been here before. That's what he was explaining. So that was the first time I'm hearing the name. I never. So know you never her. heard no, of her during no, the seventies. None at all. The none okay. at all. Okay. So um, that was that. Finished the tour. Came back to Jamaica, and then a few years after that, which was the other day. I saw the name Ivan Sterling fell on hard times in the newspaper. Right, right, right. I was there trying to struggle to, to remember where did I hear yeah, this yeah, name? name. Mm -hmm. Until I remember I said, oh yes, Brazil. The promoter was telling me about the, the, the Ivan Sterling. So I pick up my phone and call the promoter and said, tell me something. The singer that you were telling me about, the female singer, mm -hmm. what's her name again? Say, Ivan Sterling. He said, oh, you know that I'm seeing a story that she fell on hard times mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. He said, oh, yeah, wow, that's sad. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever you can do to, um, to, to get in touch with her and let us see if we can do a little fundraiser for her in Brazil because mm -hmm. they love her so much. So I said, all right, I'll try my very best. I don't know where she is. Mm -hmm. Never met this lady before. And then a few days after that, I saw Little Lenny in a clip mm -hmm. was um, going in the pouring rain to Ivan Sterling House because he was expressing that um, he felt so touched by right. her story. Her story. That and he her story to... was basically she was rained out, um, flooded was, out. Flooded but, out. Um, it was more than that. It was mm -hmm. a lady that was suffering all along. Right. So she used the opportunity. As a matter of fact, she didn't even reach out to the Gleaner. The Gleaner came in the community to do a story on how flooded out and how affected yeah, the, 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 the community was. was. Mm -hmm. And she used the opportunity to say, I'm Ivan Sterling, I used to sing, I had a hit back, back then, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. And that's how the story got picked up. So I called up little Lenny and said, Lenny, you know that lady Ivan Sterling, I'm trying to find her too. He said, Richard, may I go check her tomorrow? He said, all right, fine, because he went the day before. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we um, settle on a time, link up, and go check her. Right. Clinton, when the lady saw me come, she was so happy. Imagine. She was so happy. She ran and she hugged me up and mm. she did it and she cry and she sing and she do everything and say, you know, Lan, I want me to Richie. You're one of my favorite singers. Oh, I could feel it genuine, genuine yeah, coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I explained to her why I'm there. I said, there's some people in Brazil that love you. She don't even know so she big in Brazil. Right, right, right. So um, I explained all of that and she said, listen to me, man. Thank you very much and everything. So exchange numbers and everything mm. and then we leave. Call the people in Brazil, they arranged the, the function, got some money, mm -hmm. sent it to me, mm -hmm. went back to her, presented the money to her, mm -hmm. of course, give her a little extra right. as well, right. and um, really make her feel nice. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was it. Yeah, because you, and I, during I, that time, you, the, the newspaper and the media carry your story you with little lenny mm -hmm. trying to help out this veteran singer that has fallen at our times mm -hmm. so when it's when this the part of it where you know getting involved musically mm -hmm. that was a different i mean take it to another level all right so what happened now when i give her the money that the answer feels so happy and everything mm -hmm. and everything and of course we're gone but our separate ways yes, now man. if i myself keep thinking about her to wonder if she's okay now or mm -hmm. whatever so we keep in touch. Mm -hmm. Then the condition of what she was living in, because the water, even though the water subsided a little mm -hmm. bit, it was still puddles of Puddle, water right, in her right, yard. Right. And mm -hmm. So me and Lenny decided to say, we give this lady some continued help. So we decided to rent a different place. Okay. So she can just move out of that move swamp. Because right, right. only alligators are supposed to live in that condition. Mm -hmm. It was just really high water. Swampy, yeah. So we put her in a place in um, Portmore. So you yes. got a, a new, yeah, man, new apartment, apartment for yeah. her. Great. Put her there and we start. Of course, no monitor. Mm. And then she just loves singing. She loves to sing. Every time yeah. you see her, as much as she's uh, suffering, yeah. and so she ever yeah. sings. Sing. So me, I have to admire that. Mm -hmm. So Lenny was the first one that said to me, Richie, why not record this lady? I said, well, 
But I don't know if I feel a vibe, the man, because let's just help her in the best way we can. Yeah, I'm not even thinking about music. And then the requests for her to record so, right. just start hit me from my boat. So I say, oh, I, <laughs> you know what? I can't deny her. Yeah. So I brought her in. I thought the best song to do at the time was Thank You Lord for What You've well, Done. Well, for exactly. Yeah, perfect yeah. song for the situation. Yeah. Yeah. So we did a cover of that and nice. Nice, the, the, the world received it yes, wonderfully, yes, 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 and everybody yes. embraced it. And we start thinking about album now and mm -hmm. all kind of something. But unfortunately, she was so ill, she was going through a lot of medical conditions, you know. And um, she had a little drinking problem, too, mm -hmm. which we never really know about, yeah. you know, and thing. So she was probably doing that to cope. Oh yeah, when you, know, usually, you know, think, they fall and, back and yeah. And, so uh, she had, had a little bit too much one night, mm -hmm. and um, she, she 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 got a stroke, got a stroke. and never recovered I from it. Recovered. Yeah, really, really, really. Were, sad you, were you able to do other than thank you, Lord? No, were you able no, to do it? No. So you have nothing more. No more songs. Yes. We were oh, my goodness. making all the plans, setting up the musicians, start selecting songs, start writing songs so, right, and none right. of that never really did happen and this is what i said from the offset that you are one you are one of those people as talented as you are you, mm. you you share it i've been doing that from the beginning of my career and i remember the first time meeting bounty killer and as much as he was very young and vibrant and mm. hot at the time when he we got together to do she's a maniac which mm. is one of the well, big hit for two of us i realized his shortcomings musically I'm going to do some work with him and even realize that I was telling him the right thing to do no, musically. Me and him turned bridging from there. And then after that, one of the biggest stars in reggae now, he came to me when he was nobody at all. And I started him after, which is Gentleman. Gentleman. Yes, yes, yes. Out of yes, Germany. yes, yes and yes. a guy called Mighty Talga that not, never really made it as big, but he yeah. was doing well in Europe as well. Mm -hmm. So... I I been lending my the, my the skills, skills right. over the years right. to, to many developing artists. And it's something that I love to do because I think sometimes you say talent alone is not much. Preparation. When preparation meets opportunity, that's what you get that's success. Yes. Yeah, so so your I, favorite ma uh, mantra. <laughs> no, but it's the yeah, truth. Yeah, it is it's the, the truth, man. It's, 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 I know a lot of talented people. Mm -hmm. That nothing never really happened, really happened. Wow. because no preparation wow. went into play. Wow. There, there was no development going wow. on, wow. you know. So it happened. One of the things that I always like about you, and I say, it, well, not in the last ten years, when you make your videos for your mm -hmm. songs, regardless <laughs> of the song, <laughs> yeah, you say. have the best locations. <laughs> and I always say to you, you know, brother, you should try get some sponsorship from. The Jamaica Tourist Board, <laughs> because yeah, you're sure, I always tell you that, you are showing places in Jamaica mm -hmm. that not even the Jamaica Tourist Board show. <laughs> when you're going to make a video, who, 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 who are some of the people you use, especially for that, for location? All right, uh, so choosing location. Every video that I do, first of all, audio visual is very powerful. When you have a good song mm -hmm. and you're doing a video, they must complement the song. Mm -hmm. Must add something to, to the, the song. song. Right. Sometimes visual can mash up the song too. You know, yes. If the visual is not right. Right. Jamaica is one of the most beautiful places. Oh, certainly Earth. is. So mm -hmm. we have the locations. It's just a matter of finding the location and spend the time to get it done. Mm -hmm. Because a man like probably say, "Me, I go do this video. Me, I do it round Kingston." Because guess what? Now, around Kingston, it will not cost me the extra money to, uh, to go all the way to portland uh, right, right to do this that's video right, right because yeah. this is it's, it's about twice or, or three times more expensive, expensive right. to go out of town you know because you're mm -hmm. talking about a whole crew to have them down there for the whole day feed them sometimes you have to give them accommodation sure, to and right, transportation right, right, right. so it make it um far more expensive but if we are look at it we're doing business that expense will come back another time right. to me if we mm. do the video right. There you go. So my latest videos, which is um Valley. Valley is like and, wow. Yeah, man, it's 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 Frenchman's Cove. Down in Portland. We don't have Portland yet. Really? Close to San San, yes. And um 
I shot the video there because in 1994 we did a motor video there called Legacy with me and my ah, brother. And oh, that location so. to me is one of the best locations around. So I always wanted to go back there. Right. So Bali, we decided to go back. And as I said, it wasn't easy. But we managed to pull it off. All right, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll be pick up, we will pick up our conversation with Richie Stevens. It's Flex Friday! This Friday, the saga continues. This Friday's special guest is... Here in my arms, here is where you be. So come on down to 43, to 43, 40 North State Road 7, the home of nightlife entertainment. That's the garden. It is Flex Friday. Come make me tell you about the things that we had once. Uh. Back in the days when the dancer used to warm, uh. When Clint and Lindsay used to bust and make them grants. Uh. Okay, welcome back to Reflections with... Um, Clinton Lindsay, my special guest, uh, Mr. Richie Stevens. And before the break, uh, Richie, we were talking about, you know, your videos. And <laughs> one of the videos that really have me said, no, man, I forgot to Jamaica, the video of Valley. Um, how, who, who, who chose those, lo those locations? Because... They were like different, different locations. All right. So as I was explaining, I wanted to go back to Frenchman's Cove. Okay. Frenchman's Cove. Mm -hmm. And um, so I said to the director, mm -hmm. I would love to do the video in Portland. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, say I love Portland to Richie. Mm -hmm. So he started telling me now about other spots, spots other locations. Right, right, right. So I said, I'll put it all together. But when he present the script to me, I know most of them locations there. Right, so right. we just decided to say yes. And we went to Portland and do the complete video in Portland. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and my idea, is it a far-fetched idea that you should collect your videos and show to the Jamaica Tourist Board? <laughs> your job, your contribution <laughs> of selling Jamaica. Well, yeah. to be honest with you, I wouldn't go that far because I know they're seeing it. Oh, uh, yeah. And okay. luckily, though, over the years, I've done a lot of work with them. Yes. So they're probably seeing what you're seeing. Yes. Okay. Because one time I did Island in the Parks, mm -hmm. which is to go around America mm -hmm. and to promote Jamaica in a big way and to encourage people to come to Jamaica. Right. So right. I've done that run before and several other things. Right. So right. them see the same thing that you're seeing. You see. Now let's let's talk about your current chart topper, your current album, mm -hmm. which I said to you several times since it was released mm -hmm. that it might be one of your, if not one of your best albums. And the album is um, Reverse the Curse. Reverse the Curse. Well, I, I'm feeling so blessed because I've been hearing this from so many people that mm -hmm. Richie, no disrespect, but this album mm -hmm. is probably your best album. And I said to myself, whoa, usually at my age and my stage, mm -hmm. people ready to 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 um, put a tag an expiry tag mm. because he's been in the game for so long and mm. people have a way to say he has seen his best days so yeah. if people are saying no this is my best work i feel good so yeah. to me it's a big deal mm. i try my best to keep up vocally and physically and everything and mm. looks like it's working out so oh 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 long this this album during the pandemic you mm -hmm. you like Everybody has had like a two year to artists to write, to produce and all of that. Mm -hmm. This was part of that period. Definitely. Um, we all had enough time on mm -hmm. our hands mm -hmm. to do what you love best. Right. You know, and um, I was doing a lot of reflection as well, mm -hmm. as your show suggests. Mm -hmm. And um, I just decided to make an album mm -hmm. that will be a real album mm -hmm. to sing about my life, to sing about the passion, the pain, mm -hmm. the blessings, mm -hmm. the everything, hard times, mm -hmm. tough times, mm -hmm. but most of all, to express that um, my faith in the Almighty. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an album with 14 inspirational songs, mm -hmm. 12 
original songs that I wrote and mm. two of my favorite covers. Right. So during that pandemic time when everybody have time on their hands to do what they want to do, mm. I spend my time, I write right. these lyrics from the depth of my heart. Mm -hmm. I spend time to produce the tracks mm -hmm. and I draw for some of the, 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 the most talented musicians right, and right. singers oh, yes, to be yes. a part of this do, album. Do you think you um, you know, listening to an album like Reverse, the curse. Mm -hmm. Do you are you more spiritual now than twenty years ago? Definitely. And the reason being is that I realize that I'm one of God's favorite pitney. Oh, you realize that? Because I've been through a lot of valleys. And I'm always overcoming. I'm mm -hmm. always shining. Mm -hmm. Because I think the Father knows who I am. Mm -hmm. And I know who I am. Mm -hmm. So whatever may come, you just don't accept, accept. that. Right, right. You know, you have to have faith in the Almighty to do that. And right. when I say I think well, I'm one of God's favorite child, I am dead serious. I'm really, yeah, really well, believing that. Based on your writing and, and mm -hmm. the material mm -hmm. you're putting out now, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, when you talk about reverse the curse, mm -hmm. you're asking God to, to reverse whatever curse. Therefore, if there's someone that wish bad for you or plan anything malicious mm -hmm. against you, mm -hmm. to reverse the curse. And the message is so clear and resonating with people. Because remember, I know we're going through a time mm -hmm. and all kind of things are happening. You know? mm -hmm. So people are finding the album lyrically very potent right. because I'm not asking people. To pick up a gun and go over the second, defend yourself right, against someone. Right, We're right. asking yeah. people to just go down by your knees right. and pray to the God that you love, right. the powerful, omnipotent mm, God, right, right. to say, reverse whatever evil or malicious intent mm -hmm. back in their way. And when you when you perform that song, though, mm -hmm. I, I see you have the tendency to go out into the audience, mm -hmm. even last night and. You're now here um, promoting, launching mm -hmm. the album. Mm -hmm. I know that you go, especially that song, mm -hmm. you go into the audience. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, I love to connect with people. Mm -hmm. I think that going out in the audience is coming in from my narcos schooling. Okay. I love to connect. I love to be close. A lot of artists don't do that and don't mm -hmm. like to do that. Mm -hmm. I like to do it because it brings a certain connection mm -hmm. and, and closeness right, with right. me and the audience. Mm -hmm. And um, people love when I do it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I love to go out there and give the mic to people and they will sing a line and thing. And right. you, you can yeah. see the fun the and fun. the enjoyment. So it's, yeah. it's just something that I've been doing for many years. Um, were you surprised at the, 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 the amount of views your video for... Uh, reverse the curse, God. You, you know, over two, what, 2.3 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. million. million. Yeah. And, and this is what I said to people. You don't have a major label mm -hmm. backing you right now. No. This is all independent. And this is why... T explain that to us. This is why when people saying this is your best work, and so I mm -hmm. see truth in it, based on some of the things that is happening. Now, because I've been in the game... From 1984, mm -hmm. I left school straight on the bandstand. Right. My first hit was in 89. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's close to 40 years. Mm -hmm. And some things are happening now I've never experienced before. Now, Reverse the Curse just came out two months ago. Mm -hmm. And because of how it was expressed and written, mm -hmm. people, I don't write the songs to personalize it to me. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have cursed the reverse though. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, I don't say me, I said you in the right, song. Right, so right. So it's not just a people may have talked to. Mm -hmm. So places like Brazil that mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier had a hit song down there. And so they run gone with the song. They love it in Brazil. There's a school teacher that I met online. Beautiful female. And she just plays the song every day yeah, in her right. classroom right. to our children and explaining what it means. Mm -hmm. And I have the entire class loving it. They must share it. They must comment. And so, so the reason why this song especially is doing so well online is because many countries, England, Jamaica, in here in the US, mm. Japan, they all love it. Mm. So when you have a song that appeals to people all over the world, mm. the views go up because they're all interacting. Uh, interact. mm. Yeah, and then the comments are, you know, I, I couldn't read I couldn't read all the comments, but there there are comments there that people are saying why it this song is an inspiration. Mm -hmm. it, it makes the day. The daily uh, prayer. The daily yeah, prayer. All of those wonderful things are going on. Now, on the album, and, mm -hmm. and like I said, and other people have said that one of your best albums, um, there are tracks on it, 
like that Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. um, explain why why you are recognizing the Afrobeat as, as it is now. All right, so Afrobeat to me is what dancehall used to be. Okay. Feel good. Mm -hmm. The Africans found a genre that mm -hmm. is tearing up the world because it feel good. Mm -hmm. We step away from the feel good dancehall into a style now that I don't know if people feel so good about it. To me, that's a kind of mistake because the new we, yeah, man, new chopping, chop, okay, are, chop, are, yeah. you know, that, that well, style. Yeah. I am not saying that the kids should stay with foundation dance out because mm -hmm. you know music must evolve, well, evolve right, and right. i learned that the kids now will not love what their grandparents used to love yeah i didn't like my grandmother's favorite song to me that there so you go i so, understand so, that so, so the only constant thing in life is change, it's change but yeah. i think we should get creative in our change to make sure that you keep elements of the foundation of of what the music used to be, so mm -hmm. that you can still pr produce music that feel good. Because when you listen to Afrobeat for argument's sake, you just want to dance. And lyrically, they're saying some nice, pleasing things Think, to the right, ear. Right. Who, who, who did you, who did you, you, you collaborated with on that? Uh, good Boy Elliot. Good is, Boy is Elliot. A, and and um, Chief, uh, Mario Chief. Oh, good Boy Elliot is an African from out of a Gambia, Gambia, and he's the producer of the track as well. Okay. So it's it's not a diluted mm. kind of. It's directly from the factory. Mm -hmm. um, Mario Chief, young and upcoming artist that I met lately. Mm. Love him style. Give him a try, and him delivered very well. So great, it, it, great, it's just great. Richie Stevens, um, Born Bless featuring Mario Chief and Good Boy Elliot. And that track is uh, for people that of the album that's gonna get the album that track is um the afrobeat is born bless yeah born bless and it's my next single that, matter of fact we just shot the video for it and it's oh, editing oh oh okay no so you will see some more location yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but for me yeah. the album not just you know exploiting the various genres of music but you maintain you you did a cover of Tom Jones is um, Delilah. Delilah. <laughs> and you maintain the essence of Tom Jones, but at the same time, you added some local Richie, Richie Stevens. Style. Like, style <laughs> like. This is your second cover of Tom, Tom, Tom Jones. Jones. Yes, yes. Why, why, why are you recognizing Tom Jones? Tom Jones is you, a standard when it comes to vocal, to me. Yes. Two people, Tom Jones and Luther Vandross, is just teacher of, teachers of the business. Yeah. When I was coming up mm -hmm. and i remember when when i went to the north coast and people like aj brown perform and ed robinson too yes as a drummer but a vocalist yes i used to sit down and watch them monday as i say i was 16 year old i don't know nothing yet green just i come from westmoreland mm -hmm. and i said why well, I, I hope that i'll develop the confidence to deal with it like the monday because aj brown used to sing the same song. Yes, yes. It's a sing yeah, Delilah. Yeah, yeah. And when I hear the power and the range yeah. and the style and the control, I said, whoa. So I start learning to sing that song. So it's, it's a song you wanted to really put on an album for years then? Not necessarily. Okay. I just grew up singing it on the North Coast until we really get comfortable right, right. in delivering a song, song like that. And right. then we start check out Tom Jones' catalog and find out, say, you know, because his songs, you, know, you can get feel practice right. yeah, and yeah, yeah, hold yeah. certain notes yeah. and, 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 and pray that it don't crack. You know, till after a while, it becomes very comfortable for me to do it. You know, so the first song, well, it, it was not unusual. You know, um, produced by Steely and Cleavy. I remember that song. That's years ago. Yeah, yeah. And then more recently, you know, I went to a karaoke. Big up Sophia. <laughs> she have a little spot. Hi, Sophia. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I went to a karaoke and she said to me, Richie, you remember my favorite song that you used to sing, man? Sing it for me now. I said, all right. She go for the mic, give me. And I sing the song in the bar. And trust me, Clinton. Jesus, peace. The people that we want. Yeah. And, you know, oh, you're so wicked. <laughs> I love that well, catchy phrase. That wasn't in there yet. That wasn't in there um, yet. Okay. So I performed the song and then... Sophia said, Richie, why you not record a song there? You sing them songs so well, record a song. And I agree. Thank you, Sophia, because I agree. And I wasn't even looking into it at all. I said, probably one day, man. So just mm -hmm. get out of the ease. Yeah, right. But then it started resonating in my head. Like, 
She said, why you not sing in, in the way she said? Although, you know, you're putting out an album, mm -hmm. you know, you have 10 or 14 tracks. You know, can I make one at Tom Jones, brethren? All right, so the idea was to put on 14 original tracks. Yes. But me have a brethren named Miguel. He always loved when I cover one From and From IRFM? Yes. Hey, Miguel. You know? <laughs> and, you know, I said, all right, let me give it a try. So I call up Sly. Mm. Sly, the great Sly Dunbar, and say, Sly, like how I did call you up, she's a maniac. Yeah. I'm calling on you again for another drum track. And I'm going to ask Lenky to play on the track. Because wow. Because Lenky really? and Sly play. She's a maniac. Oh, that winning combination 20-something yes, yes, yes. years yeah, ago. So to ask the same pair yeah. to do this Delilah, I said, Sly, please, just give me one of them Shaka Demos and, and Pliers. Oh, oh. One of them pumping group. Yeah. So he programmed the drum and created the beat and... Link it, we don't want to call it up. And when the man them send it to me, I say, My, my gosh. Then I'm calling, glad, thank you guys. Then I'm calling Benji from Rough Cut. Mm -hmm. I used to play Bloodfire mm -hmm. and then play the bass, man. And when we hear the track, man, we couldn't wait to go sing. So this is the result the, of it. Uh, very know, good, very good. And to me, mm -hmm. After Reverse the Curse, that's my favorite track. Um, <laughs> tell us where where we can get the album. It's available on and... all digital platforms. Right. Distributed by Dubshot from New York and thing. And you can also get the hard copy. Yes. The CD is now available. Right, right. So um please go and purchase this album. Listen to it. Pinton, one of the reasons why I'm so proud of this album. There are some little things that I do to test. I've never had an album. A brand new album that are performing live and do two much less three songs from it because mm -hmm. you know people don't really like to hear too much right, new right, tune. So. People want to hear classic and hits. Right. And I perform seven songs from this brand new album. Damn. Two. That's very unusual. Two a lot in of, reggae. Yeah, and two a lot of applause. Last right. night in Port Charlotte, I performed "Stay Positive," which is one of your favorite. Yeah, yeah. And I sing the song, and the people in the choir to listen to the song. And it's reached the end and say, Did you like it? The whole crowd erupted. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You know, so, it, and then Delilah and then Reverse the Curse and then Valley and uh, all songs that. People and know. one album. Yeah, man. All when, when you leave here now, you, you, you have done your three dates in terms of your um, launching. Yes. Where, where are you going to go next? Could you tell us where, where are we? More launch because I'm, I'll be doing um, a lot of launches. Mm -hmm. The internet is very powerful and we want to create content to promote the album on the internet. Right. So when I do these launches, it's a nice way to promote it. Um, I'm going back to Jamaica now. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the month, we have another series of shows starting in New York, Connecticut, um, Boston, wow. um, Philly. Wow. Um, just to name a few. Too, right. And even Guyana. Nice. We're going over to yeah. Guyana. You know, yeah. there's a big promote over there. Wants to do something special. And I'm sure once you get to Ghana, they start to advertise. Trinidad gonna call yeah, the bar. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I think um the Afrobeat song, Born Bless. I think it's gonna be it's gonna kick out first in Africa. Potentially, I think it can be the biggest song on the album. Based on the yes. feedback that we're getting. Cause remember now, Afrobeat is also a hot genre now. I love Afrobeat. It's created by my African mm, brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters. I have right, reason yeah. to embrace it big right, time. Right. Um, it's a great genre, and I welcome Afrobeat. All right. Mm. Listen, Richie, we could go on and on and on. I'm glad you were able to, you know, I know time is of essence for you, and I'm glad you were able to come in and chat with us for our Next time you come back to South Florida. We'll Give thanks. I can't leave without giving a special shout out of course. to some people. Boom Rich, who is also one of the producers on the album. Mm -hmm. Big up yourself. We just did a successful weekend of album launches. I want to big up my brother Ed Robinson. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Jonah Marie, who did mm -hmm. the promotion. Well done. Fans up. Big up yourself, Bridget. You understand me? And each and every one, Clinton Lindsay, I can't say thanks enough, sir. You've been an advisor, you've been a good friend and a brother to me over the years. Oh. And I appreciate it to the depth of my heart. Tony and Sandra, my 30 out of your bridging, will drive me up and down all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up yourself. Tony. Respect, Tony. Big up yourself, Tony. You know, so respect goes out to each and every one. Thanks to the public, the fans, for supporting me. Without you guys, nothing would be possible. So enough respect. Blessings to the Almighty. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Richie Stevens, again, thank you, my brother, for passing through. And we will talk. We talk yes, almost every day. Yeah. <laughs> almost every day. <laughs> All right. So we want to thank Richie Stevens for passing through. And uh, uh, after this break, we're going to get to the top 30, the um, New York top 30 countdown with TC right after this break. It's Flex Friday! This Friday, the saga continues. This Friday's special guest is... Here in my arms, here is where you be. So come on down to 43, to 43, 40 North State Road 7, the home of nightlife entertainment. That's the garden. It is Flex Friday. I'm here to the TC from Flex TV, and I'm here to present to you the South Florida Top 25 Reggae Chart Countdown, which is compiled by veteran broadcaster, Mr. Clinton Lindsay. Now, this is how important this chart is. I actually break my podcast so I can actually do this today. Ladies and gentlemen, now here's a look at the 25 most played songs here in South Florida. Checking in at number 25 this week on the chart. Bless Me by Derek Scott. Number 24, Love About You by Papa Sam. Number 23 this week, 10 million by Ricky General. Checking in at number 22, Queen by Nadine Sutherland. Number 21, Close to You by Marcia J. Ball. Number 20, When You Love by Luke D. Number 19 this week, Don't Let Her Take. Empress Unique with Loot in the Fire. Number 18, Mama Don't Cry by Kenya Morris featuring Webber Don. Number 17 this week, Playing Money Games by Terry Linney. Number 16 on the chart, 50 by Tanya Stevens with Patra. Checking in at the number 15 spot, Blessings by Benaya. Number 14, Peace of Mind is a Holiday by G. Cole. Checking in at the number 13 spot, The Thigh is I by Julian Marley. Number 12 this week, Righteous People by Wayne Harmon. Checking in at the number 11 spot, Kingston Traffic by Naomi Cowan. And now, here's a look at the 10 most played songs on the South Florida Top 25 Reggae Char Countdown. After spending eight weeks on the chart, last week this song registered at the number 11 spot. Move one place up the chart to be your number 10 song this week. It's Ain't No Love in the Heart of the City by Ambalik on the Heavy Beat record label. Ain't no love in Kingston City. Last week, this song registered at the number 10 spot. Move one place up the chart to be your number 9 song. It is Save the Children by Ezron on the Taunts record label. Daylight, don't come shining again. Cause all your ways display these days are pain and sorrow. Promises, promises. Keep your promises, promises. I see no change Initiate for a better tomorrow All times I wish that I was blind Wish I could have numb the pain inside Then maybe my heart wouldn't be aching so much 
After spending 16 weeks on the chart, last week this song registered at the number 5 spot, moved 3 places down the chart to be your number 8 song this week. It's Khalid by the ATF band on the ATF music production record label. This song peak position was number 1. After spending 10 weeks on the chart last week, this song registered at the number 9 spot. Moved two places up the chart to be your number 7 song this week. It is, Is It Still Good To You? by Ed Robinson with Joanna Marie on the Reggae Global Entertainment Record Label. It's been a long time since you touched me and made me feel that wonderful glow the way you do. It's been a long time since you held me and squeezed me, so I wonder what's gone over you. I don't know how to bring it up. After spending 11 weeks on the chart, last week this song registered at the number 8 spot, moved two places up the chart to be your number 6 song this week. It is Jack Shall Wipe Away All. Tears by Carleen Davis on the Glory Music Record Label. Last week, this song registered at the number seven spot, moved two places. Up the chart to be your number five song this week. It is I Need You by Audrey Roland on the Surface Record Label. This song has peaked at the number one spot for three consecutive weeks. No greater love I have ever known. Love that you have shown. You pick me up when I am down. You make me laugh when there ain't no clown. Last week you saw the song at the number four spot. Guess what? It's still holding down the number four spot this week. Simply made it's your number four song. It's don't do it by Oakton Lindo, Marcel Griffiths, and Freddie McGregor on the Ira Penn record label. I'm sure this artist is very happy. Last week she was at the number three spot. This week, still happy with the number three spot. I'm talking about I'm Happy by Mary Isaac on the Isaaca music record label. After spending 14 weeks on the chart last week, this song registered at the number two spot. Still holding down the number two spot this week. I'm talking about Love Loss by Twiggy on the Cephex record label. 
You want to prove you are the man and nobody can rule you. Like them are your mother. Either you don't give a damn or you just don't know how to treat a good woman. That she gave you the boat. Now you act like you're shocked and you're so victimized. Oh, the move make you look in at yourself, boy. It should open up your eyes. And now. Is your number one song on the South Florida Top 25 Reggae Chart Countdown. After spending 10 weeks on the chart last week, this song registered at the number one spot, making it the second consecutive week in a row. Your number one is Richard Stevens with Reverse the Curse on the Boobridge Production record label. Some try to put a girl, some people. Cause them hearts full of evil Tell them we say I got over there yeah. Everybody sing along now Reverse the curse To where it's coming from yeah. Turn it back as fast as you can There you have it Number one Richard Stevens From his album Reverse the Curse Hit the number one spot here in South Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want Reverse the Curse to remain at the number one spot, you know what to do. You know the assignment. Just continue to stream, call and request, and of course, purchase these songs if you want to keep it at the number one spot. Let's see if Richard Stephen can hold this one. Hey, guess what? He has proven us from before that he can hold the number one spot. Really? Let me not say that. Congratulations, Richard Stevens, for having the number one song here in South Florida. Keep it locked. We'll be right back with the Foundation Radio Network Top 30 Reggae Chart Countdown. Welcome back. It's now time to take a look at the top 30 most played song in all the boroughs of New York City. It is the Foundation Radio Network Top 30 Reggae Chart Countdown, which is compiled by Mr. Clinton Lindsay. Now here's the 30 most played songs on the chart. We do have some brand new entries on the chart this week too. As a matter of fact, coming in at number 30 this week, it's a brand new entry by Christopher Martin. It's called Guaranteed, number 29. Another new entry, Playing Money Games by Terry Linen. Checking in at number 28 this week, Should I by Donna V. Checking in at number 27 this week, Every Time by Slashy. Number 26 on the chart, Righteous People by Wayne Orman. Number 25, 50 by Tanya Stevens featuring Patra. Number 24 this week, Love About You by Papa Son. Number 23, Glory to His Name by Turdy Lance. Checking in at number 22, For Tonight by D Major. Number 21 this week on the chart, Diamonds in the Sun by Tanya Stevens, Della Marley, and Diana King. This song peak position was number one. Checking in at number 20, Loyalty by Mikey General. Number 19 this week, Pump Blood by Turbulence. Number 18, Bless Me Still by Derek Scott. Number 17 this week on the chart, Butter Bread by Michael Rose. Number 16, Queen by Nadine Sutherland. This song peak position was number two. Checking in at the number 15 spot, Without Love by the veteran Ken Booth. Number 14, Ain't No Love in the Heart of the City by Ambalik. Number 13 this week, Always and Forever by Leroy Smart. Checking in at the number 12 spot, Ja Shall Wipe Away All Tears by Carlene Davis. This song peak position was number four. Number 11, Groovin' by Winston Francis. 
And now, here's a look at the top 10 most played songs on the Foundation Radio Network Top 30 Reggae Chart Countdown. Checking in at number 10 this week. This song has been in the chart for over nine weeks. Last week, it checked in at the number 13 spot. Move three places up the chart to be your number 10 song this week. It's Missing You by Sunshade. Baby, what did I say to make you mad? Say to make you mad. Girl, what did I do to make you sad? To kill me, baby. Girl, what did I do to make you blue? To kill me, darling. See, I can't believe the way all through. down the number 9 position this week last week this song checked in at the number 10 spot move one place up the chart to be your number 9 song it is nothing can justify by Kalia on the Kalicious Records label Last week, this song registered at the number five spot. Move three places down the chart to be your number eight song this week. It's Mama Don't Cry by Kenya Morris featuring Webo Don on the Morris Entertainment record label. Oh. Last week, this was your number eight song. Move one place up the chart to be your number seven song this week on the chart. It's Kingston Traffic by Naomi Cohen on the Glory Music Productions record label. The number six spot last week it registered the number seven position move one place up the chart to be your number six song this week it is don't do it by Opton linda marcia griffiths and freddie mcgregor on the ira pen record label <laughs> Last week, this song checked in at the number six spot. Move one place up the chart to be your number five song this week. It is I Need You by Audley Rowland on the Surface Records label. No greater love I have ever known than the love that you have shown. Last week, this song registered at the number four spot, still holding down the number four position this week. It's The Tide Is High by Julian Marley on the Manum record label. The tide is high. This song is no stranger to the chart. It registered at the number one spot for four weeks in a row. Last week, it hold the number three spot. Still holding down the number three spot this week. It's Richard Stevens on the Boom Rich Production record label with a song entitled Reverse the Curse. Some try to put a girl, some people. Cause them hearts full of evil. Tell them we say I got over table. Yeah. Everybody sing along now. Reverse the curse to 
This was one to watch. It's been on the chart for 15 weeks. Last week, it registered at the number two spot. Still holding down the number two spot this week. It is Kali Weed by the ATF band on the ATF Music Production record label. Number one song this week on the Foundation Radio Network Top 30 Reggae Chart Countdown. After spending 16 weeks on the chart, last week this song registered at the number one spot, making it the third consecutive week in a row. Your number one, it is I Care About You by Xanadu on the Mind Searchers record label. Sometimes I feel so A brand new number one this week on the Foundation Radio Network Top 30 Radio Chart Countdown. It's by Xanadu and the song is entitled I Care About You. Now listen, Xanadu, I haven't heard from this artist in a while. And of course, that's a show that is like riding a bike. You just can't get out of your system. Congratulations, Xanadu. You don't know you have it, my brother. You care about the people, so you give them the number one song. Hey, guess what? That's my time right here on Reflection with Clinton Lindsay. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Clinton Lindsay Official, and you can always watch us live Wednesdays between the hours of 5 and 6 on FlexFM.online. That's my time. I'm out of here. Until next week, stay blessed while we continue to reflect. Okay, thank you, TC, for the countdown, and congratulations to Zanadu, second week at number one in New York City, and uh, congratulations to our special guest, just walk off the set, Richie Stevens, uh, just taking over this South Florida number one spot. Until next week, that's it. Until next week, you take care of yourselves, and don't forget to check out Reflections with Clinton Lindsay right here on uh, Flex TV. Take care. Come make me tell you about the things them way at once. Uh. Back in the days when the dancer used to warm, uh. When Clinton Lindsay used to bust them, make them once. Who uh. leave for artists, Clinton, bring them up America. Some never know, say Clinton Lindsay a promoter. Bring up the biggest set of artists from Jamaica. Like Super Cat and Mr. Early be the doctor. Who leave for artists, love for them, he can remember. Who can remember when them used to keep Jamaica? The kind of show that used to give out of our water To reggae artists from the world and from Jamaica New York City where him used to do the radio